now this is a 4 feet matte sticker about 18 inch in height as i have 2 feet aquarium let's split this in half as you can see it is 2 feet now so let's get it on the tank I want to keep my aquarium portable with all the hardscape and plants intact in case I'm shifting so I'll be placing this waterproof fly under it it's pretty thick and strong I could literally stand on it oh so the sticker looks pretty good now we won't be able to see the wall behind it which is exactly what I wanted now I'm going to be setting this one up as a dirted tank with 100% organic vermicompost it's super cheap and effective and no chemicals means safe for fish I'll see we using this vegetable bag the compost always contains worms, snails, stones, shells, you name it. Uh, so it is important to sieve and collect only the fine digested compost to reduce high ammonia release. You can see the chunks that have remained and just how fine the other one is. It's super clean like dirt whereas this one now the compost already has loads of beneficial bacteria only thing is some of them will not survive underwater but the few that do uh, it is important to use dechlorinator for it it is important to mix compost well with water uh, this helps in getting rid of excessive air pockets all the air that releases in future will be from for the decomposition. Now having a bit too much water is not a problem. You just need to make sure that all the air pockets are like released. Now I'm going for a mangrove setup which means I'll have plants only at certain spots. So I'll place thick layer of compost where I want to plant. That means uh, I still have to have a continuous distribution of microphone in the substrate and that's the reason I'll have to keep the compost layer continuous rather than as a pile. But this is super thin layer, you know, you can see it. Now we're done with this. Uh, I'm using river sand have not removed any gravels from it. Just wash it like 50 times Yeah, that was fun uh, To head start nitrogen cycle. I have kept this sand soaked since last four weeks I have added some coriander stalks and chunks from vermicompost to feed the bacteria We have a hitchhiker I think it is earthworm from the compost. Uh, let's get him out. This is great. It survived underwater for about four weeks. That's interesting. Uh, let's search if we have any more. I'm checking if it had any pulse with it. Maybe girlfriend. You can use any other vegetable waste to head start this nitrogen cycle. Now let's get the sand all over the compost. About one inch thick. This helps in locking the organic and mineral matter from mixing in the water. Uh, also sand is a great biomedia for bacteria. The hardscaping is done, it's literally extensive job, uh, getting the right angles and balance is the key here. Uh, sorry I was not able to shoot the process of hardscaping. Uh, the main thing about is you don't want the driftwood to float 
so make sure you have enough rocks on it or stick to it uh, as you can see I have used rocks and cement block to separate the sand from the aqua soil layer so this sand is basically going to represent a river basin whereas the idea is to have plants all over the back end of the tank like on top of the aqua soil like jungle uh time to add some dechlorinated water Wow, so my mangrove waterscape is set. I added the 10 watt aquarium light. So generally uh, this is a 20 gallon. So I should have added at least 20 watt. But because this is going to be only partially planted like on the back end. So I'm still treating it as a 10 gallon planted tank. So 10 watt is going to be sufficient efficient it's not enough for demanding plants but it's kind of sufficient for the rest wow you can see the air bubbles escaping from the aqua soil this is so satisfying the pulling on the hardscape oh my god this is beautiful and relaxing you can see the soil has turned the water a bit black but that will go away with water changes this looks so good that you know I could literally keep it as is without any plants So next up is planting, uh, go check out my channel and hit like and subscribe for getting more information and updates on this tank. Thank you. You still here? The video is done.